Hello, this is Cameron Long, and this is my presentation on John Dewey for Early Childhood Care and Education 1101 for Chattahoochee Technical College. John Dewey was a major figure in education reform, and in this presentation, we would talk about five key points and some of his ideals and how he shaped modern early childhood education practices. John Dewey was considered the father of the progressive education movement which was a movement that took place in the late 1800s into the 20th century and had lasting impacts on modern early childhood education. This movement won a drastic change in the areas of education and child care, and progressive educators pushed for a new type of classroom with less rote memorization and academia and more hands-on learning and interactive experiments. They wanted to change not only the mindset of educators and children, but to change the layout of the classroom and the items found within. The classroom became a collaborative entity between students with open discussion and group projects, and the teachers and students were encouraged to teach each other and learn collaboratively. In this slide, we can see a traditional classroom on the left and a progressive classroom on the right. In the traditional classroom, the teacher is standing up front and teaching one subject while all students are attempting to do it while sitting at their desk. And on the right, we can see a progressive classroom where the teacher is playing with the students and the students are doing multiple subjects at one time and are in different areas of the classroom and having movement and experimentation. Dewey and progressive educators gave birth to a new type of classroom. Children should not be stuck in my wall at desk performing rote memorization and arithmetic, but rather moving around and engaged in a more open format classroom. Movement, open discussion, experimentation, and exploration are all key parts of a progressive classroom. Children learn best when they are excited and able to apply learning experience to their passion and interest. Instead of every teacher doing the same thing at the same time across the country, classrooms and lesson plans should be unique and adapted to your specific students. Child-centered education is a key component of progressive education. Progressive educators realized the value of children's way of learning and the value of allowing children to make their own decisions. Education should be focused on the child student being able to explore and experiment. The teacher's role in progressive education is to observe interest and help children follow these interests and passions. Instead of making children focus on simply academics, find what children enjoy and are passionate about and use this to advance their development and education. All children develop or learn at different speeds. Therefore, we must have a flexible and well-designed classroom with a variety of games, activities, and lessons. Although child-centered education is a key component of Dewey's progressive thought, it is important not to take it too far. Quote, we must take our stand with the child and our departure from him. It is he and not the subject matter which determines both quality and quantity of learning. In this picture, a teacher is encouraging play and open communication with their students. She is allowing them to play on their own without setting a task, as these activities are still developmentally appropriate and helping them develop. Hands-on learning is a key component of progressive education. John Dewey and progressive educators believe that students and adults learn best from experiencing things firsthand and applying previous knowledge to these experiences. Interactive hands-on learning is a key component of progressive education. According to the principles of Dewey and progressive education, children should experience events and try to solve problems independently to foster curiosity and learn. We should allow experimentation and teach other students to relate new experiences to prior events. Teachers and children are learners together, and you should encourage social interaction to allow your students to think about what they have learned and experimented. Quote, if knowledge comes from the impressions made upon us by natural objects, it is impossible to procure knowledge without the use of objects which impress the mind. Interdisciplinary education was another key component of progressive education. John Dewey believed that no one subject was more important than another and that all subjects were interrelated and connected. Through experimentation and hands-on activities, children can learn all subjects at one time and learn how these subjects overlap and allow them to become well-rounded adults. While students may excel at one subject over another, 
As an educator, you should use this to apply creative lessons or activities that use your students' particular strengths to enhance their understanding of areas they may have a weakness in. Quote, continuity of experience is essential to growth. John Dewey believed that connecting experiences from all disciplines of education and subjects was key to learning in early childhood education. John Dewey's unique perspective and ideas on early childhood education practices have had a dramatic and lasting impact on modern education. From the layout of classrooms to the roles of teachers and materials found within classrooms, Dewey's ideas have had many lasting effects on modern ECE. Interdisciplinary education is now vital in pre-K. The importance of play and social interaction between young students and their teachers has been recognized as being important and become a cornerstone of the ECE practice. Many pre-K teachers follow Dewey's principles and ideas without even being aware where they originated. Quote, when we look at early childhood classrooms today, we see children building language skills as they share snacks with classmates, learning important science concepts as they water and care for plants, and developing math skills as they cook up a special treat for lunch. All these commonplace preschool activities stem from the ideas of a forward-thinking and most uncommon man. Modern educators may be too focused on meeting state standards and Geld's codes and not enough focus on creating an evolving democratic classroom that promotes hands-on learning and cooperative learning. John Dewey was one of the most radical thinkers in ECE reform and his ideas changed the way we look at the education of children and their role in society.